TSMC's Taipei listed shares have skyrocketed to their highest levels since their debut in 1994, signaling a monumental phase for the world's largest contract chipmaker. Amid this financial surge, Chairman Xi Wei has clarified that relocating the company's manufacturing facilities is off the table, with 80 to 90 percent of its production capacity anchored in Taiwan. Meanwhile, TSMC is tackling an unprecedented demand for high-end chips, vital for driving the latest advancements in generative artificial intelligence tools and services. What implications will this booming demand have for the future of AI and global tech industries, and how will TSMC handle the pressures of its strategic role amidst growing geopolitical tensions? Continue following as we dig into these vital queries, disclosing the tactics that may alter the future of tech. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., TSMC, recently experienced a substantial increase in market value, rising by 1 trillion new Taiwan dollars, or 30 billion US dollars, propelled by a global surge in chip stocks driven by artificial intelligence. AI, this technology has emerged as a significant disruptive force across various industries. The leading contract chip maker saw its Taipei listed shares surge by 4.7% to 894 new Taiwan dollars, marking its highest level since its IPO in 1994. This surge pushed its market capitalization above 23.2 trillion new Taiwan dollars, consequently lifting the local benchmark TX index by 1.9% to reach a record high. TSMC's remarkable surge follows a similar upward trend in semiconductor manufacturer NVIDIA's shares in New York, propelling NVIDIA's market value to surpass 3 trillion US dollars. This achievement positioned NVIDIA ahead of Apple, making it the world's second most valuable company. Additionally, chip equipment giant ASML experienced a significant overnight surge in Europe, elevating it to become the second largest listed company on the continent. Kathy Woods, CEO and CIO of ARK Investment Management, remarked during a virtual panel discussion at the Greenwich Economic Forum in Hong Kong that the current AI rally has resulted in an unprecedented level of market concentration. Kathy Wood suggested that if NVIDIA continues its upward trajectory, it should only be justified by the substantial benefits it brings to other companies. She also mentioned that their private fund holds significant exposure to emerging companies. Mainland China's leading chip companies also experience significant gains. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp., China's largest chip maker, saw its Hong Kong listed shares rise by 5.6% to 18 Hong Kong dollars and 6 cents, reaching a five month high. Similarly, its counterpart, Hua Hong Semiconductor, surged by 7.9% to 22 Hong Kong dollars and 55 cents. TSMC, whose major clients include Apple, Nvidia, and SK Hynix, has emerged as one of the primary beneficiaries of the AI trend. The company's stock in Taiwan has surged by over 50% this year, following a 32% increase in 2023. As a result, it now ranks among the world's most valuable companies, alongside Meta Platforms and Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, according to Bloomberg data. Earlier this week, TSMC's chairman and chief executive, Xi Xi Wei, emphasized the importance of AI development in driving the industry's recovery this year. He reiterated his estimate of a 10% growth rate for the global semiconductor market in 2024. In line with long-term capacity needs based on market projections and technology development plans, TSMC announced a capital expenditure program of 17.36 billion US dollars on Wednesday. This investment will fund the installation and enhancement of advanced technology capacity, as well as the construction of new semiconductor production facilities. TSMC also announced its intention to repurchase 3.25 million shares at a price ranging between 598 and 1,281 new Taiwan dollars each from June 6 to August 5. This buyback aims to counterbalance the dilution caused by shares issued through its employee stock award program. As we've just seen, TSMC's strategic decisions and their implications for the global tech and AI sectors are more critical than ever. But what about the broader landscape? How are other industry giants and geopolitical tensions influencing the future of semiconductor technology? Up next, we'll explore how global dynamics are reshaping the tech industry, with insights from other major players and the ongoing impact of international relations on market strategies. How will these factors converge to define the next era of technological innovation? The unfolding ships are setting the stage for tomorrow's tech breakthroughs.
TSMC, the Taiwanese contract chip maker with major clients like NVIDIA and Apple, recently revealed that it had engaged in discussions with certain customers regarding relocating its chip plants away from the island due to escalating tensions with China. However, the company stated that such a relocation would be unfeasible. The tension between China and Taiwan has escalated significantly since Beijing initiated military exercises around the democratically governed island in May, particularly after the inauguration of Taiwan President Lei ching Ti, whom Beijing accuses of being a separatist. CC Wei addressed reporters after the company's annual general meeting, acknowledging that instability across the Taiwan Strait is a concern for the supply chain. However, he emphasized the company's desire to avoid any conflicts. Wei explained that relocating chip factories from the island would be unfeasible due to the fact that 80 to 90 percent of TSMC's production capacity is situated in Taiwan. However, he did not disclose the identities of the customers with whom TSMC had discussed the possibility of relocating production. TSMC, currently dealing with a surge in orders for high-end chips used in providing generative artificial intelligence tools and services, engaged in discussions with OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, regarding AI chip supplies. Wei mentioned that TSMC found OpenAI's demands to be overly ambitious, but he did not provide further details. Wei expressed his skepticism about OpenAI CEO Sam Altman's approach, describing it as overly aggressive. According to a source familiar with the matter, Altman had discussions with TSMC last year regarding a potential partnership to construct approximately three dozen factories. This initiative aimed to ensure that OpenAI could obtain sufficient silicon to meet its growing demand. While the discussions were conducted amicably, TSMC officials conveyed their concern that Altman's proposal for the number of fabs was excessive. They feared that operating such a large number of factories at the required 80% capacity or higher would be challenging. At the time of the discussions, TSMC's forecasts did not anticipate sufficient demand to justify the construction of more than 30 new fabs. However, it remains unclear whether TSMC and Altman explored the possibility of establishing fabs outside of Taiwan. Despite the escalating tensions with China, the topic of a potential war and its implications for chip supply chains has hardly been addressed at the annual Computex Technology Trade Show in Taipei. Unless raised by reporters in conversations with executives on the sidelines, discussions about this matter have been minimal. Frank Wong, chairman of PowerChip Semiconductor Manufacturing, assured reporters at the event that there is currently no widespread concern about foreign customers urging Taiwan firms to relocate production due to the escalating tensions. He emphasized that while military activities and confrontations are not uncommon, Taiwan's significance in the field of AI is widely acknowledged even by China. Wang expressed confidence that Taiwan's position in the industry remains stable. Similarly, when questioned about the potential impact of tensions with China and its military exercises on the industry, Advanced Micro Devices CEO Lisa Su underscored the critical role of Taiwan in the global chip supply chain. She emphasized the continued importance of Taiwan in ensuring the smooth functioning of the industry. During this recent event, she explained to reporters that a significant portion of their manufacturing operations takes place in Taiwan, collaborating closely with key suppliers such as TSMC. Additionally, they work with various partners to enhance the ecosystem within Taiwan. She emphasized the importance of having a global ecosystem from their standpoint. As the AI wave boosts semiconductor stocks to new heights, TSMC faces tough decisions about its future in Taiwan. What do you think the impact will be on the global tech landscape if TSMC shifts its operations? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.